girl. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good girl. Come on. Come on. Good girl. It was instilled in me the history and how hard it was for those old people to come here and work and like I look at all the field stones and I knew they were all picked by hand and it became personal that I protected the heritage and, and kept it going and you know we could have sold the land off and moved on. Come on. Come on. Ten years, fifteen years go by, um, you know I established myself in, in the work world and logistics and uh, um, you know, the, the passion for motorsports that was instilled to, in me living on a farm and dad having a snowmobile really started, you know, kicking into play um, and, and wanting to take advantage of, uh, of the property and doing things. So we built our own tracks and so on. So you develop that passion, to, uh, you know, motorsport from there. And, and I mean, it's an itch, man, and it's hard to get rid of it once you get going. You know, here we are, right? <laughs> You know, bikes and snowmobiles were a weekend thing, where now racing a vehicle became uh, the, the culture that I was in around. You know, the guys that I met in, and that I was around in the freight forwarding industry, they were car guys. They weren't snowmobile and bike guys. So I kind of followed their path instead of them dragging into my world. I think this, this truck racing thing, um, tops the bucket list on, on what I, you know, wanted to achieve in life and do. I'm doing things with the truck that these other guys haven't figured out. And, you know, we're beating them in, in, in holes and roughness. And that's so cool to pass somebody in, in eight foot holes <laughs> at a hundred <laughs> miles an hour. It's badass. <laughs> The truck fits out, we got a big race next week. I'm training in a side-by-side -side today. Yep. 10400. There's nothing more in the extreme sports list that I think beats what you can do with this vehicle growing up from a snowmobile, working with moto and running race teams. And you know, I'm an off-road guy, right? So th this is what by far. I mean, I've done offshore boats in Key West and Florida, and that's lame compared to this truck. There's, there's for sure, this tops it. I don't think anything else will give me a bigger drum and rush. Andre, truck is good to go. Are you ready? 500 miles. 11 hours. Let's do this.